And before we go, let's get an update on the Pope's trip to America. CBS 4's Jamie Yukis is joining us live from the United Nations with more on the Pope's busy day ahead. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Walter and Ruta Bay. I want to go ahead and show you the line behind me. You can see a number of delegates and students from 193 different countries in line, getting ready to go into the UN so that they can see Pope Francis speak. It's going to be a historic day here in New York City. He has a whirlwind tour ahead of him today. The Pope will speak for about a half an hour or so to more than 100 world leaders. It's the biggest they've ever seen here at the UN at 8:30 this morning. He will then head to the 9/11 Memorial, where he's going to participate in a multi-religious ceremony and meet victims' families. It's supposed to be the most emotional part of today with a number of religious leaders speaking at that ceremony as well. From there, he gets a short rest before meeting with immigrant students at an inner city Catholic school in East Harlem. Now, this was a very specific point in the trip that Pope Francis wanted to make. He asked New York officials to meet with immigrant students, and he also wanted to see an inner city school to see how they operate and how they're doing. From there, he's going to head through Central Park. There are 80,000 people ticketed at this point to see the Pope. There were a number of tickets that went online that weren't supposed to, uh, that were going to go for hundreds of dollars. They are. It is a ticketed event, and it did go by lottery. From there, he's then going to head to Madison Square Garden, where he will speak to 20,000 people. Now, security is so tight for that event that people are being asked to come hours ahead of time, but they get a free concert. Jennifer Hudson, Harry Connick Jr., and Gloria Stefan are all supposed to play. All right, Jamie, thank you. It's going to be a big day out there.